Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupitergym.com. We're at my live active blog, Jupiter Jim's Marketing Team. And before we get started, I would like to ask you to help me out. And if you like this video, please click the like button on YouTube and leave your comments on YouTube or on my uh, Jupiter Jim's Marketing Team blog post if you saw the video there. And then if you can share on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, StumbleUpon, and Google Plus, that would be great as well. Okay, now I'm going to take you to a site I built called ochocolate.com and I'm going to click on updates, which is the blog loop. And I'm just going to click on this one particular blog post and that brings me to a single post per page and as I scroll down you can see the comments were added using Facebook comment plugin so I'm going to show you how to use that on my demonstration blog which is Jim's Max GXL marketing team okay and you can see that this particular blog post I'm going to just click here to bring us to this particular blog post it's a single post per page and you can see that there are no Facebook just the conventional WordPress comment box okay to start off we're gonna go here to the social plugins and pay careful attention to the URL or web address to get to this page you can pause the video the key thing is it's developers.facebook.com slash docs slash plugins okay and we're gonna scroll down to where it says comments and we're just gonna click there and this is the page that will give us the code that we're gonna paste into our blog okay so let me just scroll down and I want you to see that there's some there's a lot of other information you can look at at a later date to customize and tweak your plugin it's got attributes moderation tools or show you how to moderate the comments FAQ for frequently asked questions etc etc so let's just go back up here and the this is an example on the right of what the comments are going to look like on your blog post your WordPress blog um, okay URL to comment on now what I'm gonna do go up here and you can see this is the single post per page okay and if you look up in the address bar in the browser I'm gonna click it once it highlights everything and if you're not sure you can always press control a or command a on a Mac to highlight everything now I'm gonna press control C to copy command C on a Mac go back to comments and I'm gonna paste that in here control V to paste command V in a Mac I can change the number of posts let's say we're gonna share five so we're gonna show five comments and the width I can change to 510 keep the color scheme light and then I'm gonna click and then it gives you an example right down here there's my picture and this is what it's gonna look like in my blog post okay so now I'm gonna click on get code and there it is it says right there in step one include the JavaScript SDK that's software developers kit on your page once ideally right after the opening body tag the script uses the app ID of your app whatever to now in a previous video to save time I showed you how to create a Facebook app okay so you'll look for that it's gonna say WordPress how to create a WordPress face app and I'm gonna put the date in which will be February 7th 2012 so in case I have to update in the future you'll make sure you're using the right one now if you wanted to use a different app you would just click here to use a different app but we are going to stick with this little one here whatever too okay next step just click in here it automatically highlights everything control C to copy command C on a Mac I'm gonna to go to the dashboard and I'm gonna go down here on thesis now if you're using thesis this is the video sh you should be following if you're not using thesis you need to follow another video I'm going to create right after this that will allow you to add this plugin on any WordPress blog or website okay so we go to thesis site options you're going to click on additional scripts you're going to click down here when the box turns yellow press control V or control Victor that's to paste command V on a Mac you can just drag this down a little and you can see this is all the script that we just pasted in okay I'm gonna click here to deselect scroll to the top click that big green save button 
OK, and we have just completed step one. We're going to go back to this tab in my browser. And I'm just going to show you once again up here. That's the URL that we are at right now, just so nobody gets lost. OK, I'm down here. This is in gray. I'm going to click the white space to deselect. Step number two, place the code for your plugin wherever you want the plugin to appear on your page. So I'm just going to click down here. It highlights everything. Control C to copy, Command C in a Mac. Go back here. And now I'm going to post it into the particular post where I want that to show up. Now this one was, this is the post. OK, I'm going to, there's a visual tab and an HTML. Make sure you're in the HTML, click full screen. Scroll to the bottom of the post, put the cursor in right after the last tag or HTML tag. I just hit the enter return key twice, control victor to paste, and right down here you can see this is the, the code that I just pasted in. Now if you wanted to suddenly change that to, you know, 7, you can change that to another number. 510, I just remembered it's a little wide. I only want it to be 500 wide. And right after it says data-href, the, that's the URL for this particular blog post. OK, so it works perfectly. That way, when people click on the comment, it will share for this particular post. OK, go up here, click Update. Go over here, exit full screen. I click update again. I explained why in another video. OK, we're going to right click here, open link and new tab. And I'm going to just click here, scroll down, and you can see it seems to be working perfectly. I'm just going to put check this out. And because we put the link in for this particular blog post, when somebody clicks the comment, make sure they need to make sure this is checked. It's checked by default. When they click comment, it's going to share their comment here and the link to this particular blog post. OK, so let me just. This is my, I'm going to go over here, take you to my Facebook page, scroll down, and you can see that we shared for this particular blog post. Um, now, we're not quite done. What I wanted to show you is that if for the next blog post, you need to copy all this that you just pasted in. OK, so Control C to copy. Go up to the next blog post. Go back to all blog posts. OK, best gift for Christmas. Click there. OK, scroll to the bottom. I'm just going to press Control V to paste. Now, this is the URL for the last blog post, so we're going to have to update it. So let's just go up here. Go back to the home page, get the exact blog post. OK, so here's the exact blog post that we want to get the URL of. OK, and once we've clicked on that, there's the blog post. It's one post per page. I'm going to click up here, Control C to copy. I'm going to go back to edit post. And this is the part, let me just go to full screen. It might be a little easier to watch at this point. OK, now where it says data href, you're going to replace the URL from the last blog post with this one. So you can just press Control-V to paste right over it. I'm going to hit backspace, um, put a space there, put the cursor back, Control-V to paste. And you can see right there it says best gift for Christmas, free box of Marlboros. Um, up here, we're going to click Update. We're going to exit full screen. I'm going to click Update again. 
Okay, back up here, I'm going to hit the refresh for this one blog post per page. Scroll down, and you can see that it does add this plugin to the end of the blog post. That's all there is to it. Take care and have a great day.